Ask Reddit by Pleasein Thank I Ow. What food are you a bottomless pit for? Chips and salsa. Would you like 40 tortillas? No. What if we cut them in quarters and deep fried them and serve them with salsa? Tacos, tacos, tacos. I'll eat a couple dozen and stop only from shame. The limiting factors on the number of tacos I can eat is only my income. French fries. Yes. French fries give me life and a reason to live. My ex's mom's homemade mac and cheese. The relationship was toxic and I'm glad I got out, but man I will forever miss that mac and cheese. Ugh, I miss their potato salad more than I miss him. Bottomless pit for that stuff. Can't resist an endless supply of pizza slices. I was once kicked out of a SS for eating too much pizza. Dumplings. The other day had 4 orders with 8 in each order, I think my fee and K8 may be 5 or 6 and she just watched me eat the rest. Yes. Both my dad and I can put away mountains of dumplings. Make them myself, or it would be prohibitively expensive at a restaurant. Much like my mentor Garfield, lasagna. What is your position on Mondays? Hey, do you want three hard-boiled eggs? No. How about 12 deviled eggs? Yes, please. Do you want three eggs? Yes. How about six? That's crazy. Here's an entire dozen turned into egg salad and served on one large bun. Sign me the fuck up bread deleted fruit i love fresh fruit strawberries blueberries blackberries raspberries kiwis oranges hand it all over same until i grab a slightly mushy one potatoes in every single form Warm sourdough baguette and Kerrygold pure Irish salted butter. Kerrygold pure Irish butter. Ice cream can never get old to me for some obscure reason. That and milkshakes. I can finish a bowl of ice cream and immediately have a craving for a bowl of ice cream. Chocolate chip cookies. There are several times in my life I knew for a fact that eating more chocolate chip cookies, or no, was going to make me physically ill but I ate them at any way because I'm a degenerate animal with no self-control. I have a rule that if three multiple cookies are available, I have to eat at least five. I did not make this rule, it was created by the universe and I have no choice but to comply. Sushi. Same. I don't think I have eaten sushi and been full. Brownies, man. Never met one I didn't like. And I've eaten them out of MREs. A whole pan of brownies is the most tempting thing in the world to me. Chips and amp, dips. Crab Rangoon. We are on the road, and yesterday in Peabody. M.A. We stopped at a Chinese restaurant that had the best crab rangoons I have ever tasted. Pasta. Pesto, carbonara, bolognese, marinara, alfredo, aglio e olio, cacio e pepe, shrimp scampi, primavera, alavongol, baked ziti, polish style, that is with butter, sauerkraut, and onions, pasta salad. And don't even get me started on Chinese and Japanese noodles. It never. Gets. Old. I could eat this stuff 2-3 meals a day every day of the week and the only thing I'd regret is my body weight. Chocolate. Um, mm, um I have some leftover chocolate frosting in the fridge. I just stick my finger in that and eat it I'm hopeless send help. Chicken wings. The pile of bones after are my trophies. One day my husband and I were going to get wings, and I realized I had no idea how many wings I could eat. 
I always just stop when there are no more wigs. So we went somewhere that was having a special and ordered. I don't know how many, a shit ton. I found out how many wings I can comfortably eat, and it's 18. Unfortunately, I ate 20. Cheesecake. You set me free in a cheesecake factory with no budget limit. That place will downgrade to just a cheesecake shack real quick. Mozzarella sticks. Would you like 8 sticks of string cheese? What no? That's ridiculous. What if we bread and fry them and serve with marinara sauce? Hectometers, yes, that sounds like a good start before my actual meal. Pizza, man. I could eat pizza every damn day and never get tired of it. Cheese, sauce, toppings, all piled high on a fluffy crust, it's pure heaven. Plus, you can get creative with the toppings, like adding bacon, pineapple, don't at me, or even mac and cheese. It's a beautiful, delicious masterpiece that I just can't get enough of. I'm practically a pizza black hole, devouring every slice in sight. Don't even get me started on the endless possibilities of dipping sauces. Pizza, my friend, is the key to my heart, and my bottomless pit of a stomach. I can eat pizza every day. I don't even need much variety all I need is pepperoni with the occasional slice of cheese or sausage to mix it up though. Pepperoni pizza is perfection. I can't eat as much in one sitting as I used to though. That pit definitely has a bottom to it now and when I reach it, I feel it up to the top. Don't feel too bad for me though because that bottom is still an entirely unreasonable amount to eat in one sitting and well beyond my normal single pizza sitting consumption. D. Beef fucking jerky. Any combo of rice and meat. Thai fried rice extra spicy my kryptonite. Smartford white cheddar popcorn. While wearing black clothes. Bread. Preferably, garlic bread. Freshly picked strawberries with real whipped cream. Aureus. I always feel like such a fat as cause I could down a sleeve or two with some milk no problem. Deviled eggs. Why is it I can only eat like 4 fried scrambled omelettized eggs but can pound like 35 deviled egg halves? Mashed potatoes. God. They are so good. I love mashed potatoes. I make them by hand with a masher. So it's got a few small chunks here and there. Season with sour cream, cream cheese, garlic salt, pepper, a touch of onion powder, and a good scoop of butter, sometimes freshly grated sharp cheddar, and I have to make a whole 10 pound bag to have leftovers from a family feast. Those fucking sugar cookies that come in the clear plastic containers and are probably like 99.99% preservatives. I could eat a dozen of them a day and never get tired of it. The really soft ones with the icing on them will eat all those in no time. Salted popcorn. Absolutely addicted. I make myself sick eating boatloads of movie popcorn. Can't keep it in the house or it would be a constant binge. Pizza. Mexican food. It should be one of the main food groups. Soup dumplings. Aureus and Doritos are simply a black hole for me. I won't even keep them in house because my self control equals zero. All food. Looks down. Yeah, that seems accurate. That fake nacho cheese sauce that you get with pretzels and tortilla chips. I don't know what it is about that stuff, it barely qualifies as a food but I can never stop eating it. Taco Bell's fucking cheese and chips are so addicting. Nachos. Crab legs with butter and cold beers. That's me with lobster. A few years ago I went on a mission to see how much lobster I could actually eat and I topped out at 5 pounds. Obviously that's the uncooked weight of them. But yeah, that's my number. 
Goldfish Crackers Original or Cheez-Its. Extra Toasty Cheez-Its are off the hook. Cheese Balls, the ones that come in a big bucket. We were helping someone clean out a house that had been unoccupied for a couple of years. Mice had eaten through the top of one of those clear cheese puff barrels to get to the cheese balls. All was good until they ate them too far down, then it just became a horrific mousetrap. Two inches of cheese balls with dozens of dead, desiccated mice on top. Now we just call cheese ball barrels mousetraps. Buttery mashed potato. Potato chips. That's why I almost never have them in the house. Bread and cheese. You simply cannot go wrong with a good piece of bread and a nice bit of cheese. I could do a life without many, many different foods. Without those two? Kill me now. Tandoori chicken and sag paneer. Throw in some naan and rice and I'm good. Indian food is my choice too. Dill pickles. None of that bread and butter shit. Dill pickles are a top 5 food for me. Bread and butter or sweet pickles are some of my most hated. Toast and butter. 